Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone, Air of Carthage here, and we are at the Pyramids once again. We're in Armenia versus Parthia battle. So this should be good. We actually saw Armenia versus Parthia a while back on the channel. I don't know how long it's been. This is going to be a different match, so we may see something different here. We're going to take a look at Parthia first. They've got three units of foot archers up front. These are long range, very high damage foot archers. They're going to be supported by some noble horse archers, including the general out here. There are three of those. Uh, and then they are being supported by a melee cavalry here. That is a noble blood cavalry. Good melee capability with those. I see two more of those and then two eastern cataphracts. Parthia is very cav heavy. Um, there are some swordsmen here guarding some of their foot archers and then some hillmen up front doing a little bit of screening action. Armenia on the other side. The Noble Spearman up front. That is an interesting pick. Noble Spearman. I don't remember the cost of these guys, but Noble makes them sound expensive. Expensive spears don't always pay out, so I'll be curious to see how that goes. We got Eastern Spears over here. Hillman in a, and Axeman, it looks like, in the next line. Then there's some Persian Cavalry, which is a heavy shot cavalry, not quite on par with cataphracts and then we've got some Azat knights interesting pick here Azat knights are some brutally powerful melee cavalry very good against large and they've got some solid armor and defense decent charge bonus so dang that is four Azat knights so i would say armenia is built on a counter cavalry build here um, with their own cavalry, meaning that they're hoping to kind of blunt the charges and just chase down and destroy the Parthian cavalry with their own cavalry. They have not brought skirmishers, which means that they're going to need to bum rush the Parthian line and just go for it. Parthia, in the meantime, is going to be able to get some action in here with their horse archers. They've already basically picked apart these poor pajama spearmen here, and they are being cut down as their wicker shields are proving somewhat useless against the Parthian arrow onslaught here. But uh, undeterred here, Armenia is moving forward at high speed. The Ozzet Knights are just going to plow into these hillmen. They're going to get a javelin volley, which is going to do undue damage to that Ozzet Knight. And then the archers are right there focusing, but the Ozzet Knights just crashing in here, crushing the hillmen, and obviously looking to move on quickly to the next line. But those, those Parthian foot archers are going to put some serious hurt into these cavalry as they fight that, but there's still a lot more cavalry here, and again, I think Armenia is going for shock value here. Look at this, just trying to get in here and be annoying with the Eastern Spearmen. Looks like the Persian cavalry intercepting the Noble Blood cavalry, supported by Eastern Spears. They can probably pull that fight off. Let's see, oh man, these Ozzet Knights getting, getting torn apart pretty bad. That cataphract got in there. Let's see how the other one's doing. That other Ozzet Knight got out of that better. So Armenia's got a pretty clean line to just kind of charge at Parthia here. They are going to have to deal with some cataphracts. This Ozzet Knight coming over to support. Uh, that Persian cavalry is having a tough time of it over here. And then you got the horse archers flinging arrows into that fight as well. Uh, yeah, this Ozzet Knight got hit pretty bad. Those foot archers need to be taken out, but they've got a fair bit of cover here from Eastern Cataphracts and Noble Blood Cavalry. This is not going to be an easy fight. There's Eastern Spearmen being sent to support, so... Armenia does successfully kind of YOLO into Parthia. The question is, is, is it going to work out here? Uh, if they lose their cavalry too quickly here, then Parthia is just going to skirmish out everything they've got left. If their cavalry can get enough damage done, it might be enough to swing this. Let's see a Parthian swordsman in there up against an Axeman. Axeman's a good counter to those swords. I mean, I think right now for Armenia, it's kind of okay. They've taken a lot of damage on some of their Ozzet Knights, and they continue to just take brutal fire from these foot archers. This is not going to be good if that continues to be the case, because then I think Parthia is going to get left with mobility, and uh, the uh, Armenians may not. Ozzet Knights, very, very tough melee units, very expensive, and uh, they definitely don't want to sit around being shot at. This one's going to pull out of here, but it's being pursued by Noble Blood Cavalry. There's really nowhere to go. It's going to get caught, so those, those archers are going to mow it down. And over here, the Cataphract is cutting down the Persian Cavalry and Eastern Spears, both of them together. It's kind of winning, and now there's support here. So Parthia is going to make this a challenge. They're not going to make it easy. There's a Noble Horse Archer General to fire at these Ozzet Knights, but those Ozzet Knights have a... They had a clean line to those archers. They're being intercepted by the Noble Horse Archer General. I think they're just going to mostly ignore it. 
and try and crush some of these archers and then turn on the general. And that's probably not a bad plan. These archers are very dangerous. If they just fight the general, it's going to be bad. Ooh, it's, it's kind of close right now. <laughs> It's kind of close. I don't know, we're going to see how this is. It says that it's in favor of Parthia, and I can understand why at the moment, because the number of units for Armenia is quickly dwindling, and there's a lot of these dangerous Parthian foot archers left. These units are cranking out some serious damage into anything they fire at, and they have done tremendous amounts of damage on the Ozit Knights so far. And that Ozit Knight is going to pull away from that fight once again, just seeking these archers. It's what they need to do, but they're struggling to get it done, and there's just so many arrows pouring into them. That's going to be the death of the Armenian general there any moment. And I'm not sure if Armenia can turn this around, so I mentioned earlier that they're going to have to make this rush and have enough left to finish the job, and it just does not look as if that's the case here. So Parthia has managed to kind of withstand the rush. They kept their Parthian foot archers alive. They definitely got the damage done. So that was that was... There was two components of damage for Parthia here. It was their cavalry and their foot archers. And, well, and I guess their horse archers, so I guess I would include that in the cavalry, like I mentioned. But it's going to work, and Parthia is going to get a fairly convincing victory here. I mean, I don't blame the Armenian. This is a strategy I might try at times, and sometimes it works, and sometimes it does not. This was actually a battle between Hotel Soap and Seoul, so that was... Um, Hotel Soap trying to charge down Seoul's Parthia did not work out for Hotel Soap this time. So an epic battle between two characters who honestly are the sole supply of Rome 2 content on this channel. So please make sure you get down in the comments every time you watch one of these battles. If you enjoy this battle, it is here because of one of these two. I do have a few battles that got sent to me by other viewers. I am trying to get to those as well. Um, I just don't have time to go play these replays on my or go play battles on my own right now. I do want to at some point. I'm going to try to, but yeah, again, make sure you get down in the comments and tell these two thank you because this really means a great deal to me that they help out the channel this way and bring entertaining battles to you, so appreciate them both. I think I like the performance here. The Ozit Knights, cool unit. Um, a pick that's an interesting one. They are quite capable in an anti-cavalry fight. They just ended up taking too much archer fire. Um, if there was some way to have contained some of that archer fire first, they might have been able to pull it off. But they're very expensive units, and it's difficult to you know have enough money left after all that to really build a whole lot else. So they just weren't able to finish the job. Again, Parthian foot archer is very dangerous. The noble horse archer general did a pretty good job there too. And noble blood cavalry is not up to snuff with Ozit knights, but they were good enough uh, to pose a problem here at a lower cost. And then these uh, cataphracts were certainly up to measure against the Persian cavalry. And so they were able to hold their own anytime that went one to one. Air of Carthage signing out for now. I'll see you all soon with some more action in Total War Rome 2.